Does anyone remember the original Austin Mini? Not these handbag fashion accessories made by BMW. Used in the Italian job movie, Michael Caine. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Anyway, what the hell, I'm getting sidetracked here. What I'm trying to say is, has anybody followed one of these minis? And it's appeared to be going almost sideways down the road. It used to be quite common and it was called crabbing. It used to be quite funny to see it. In all serious though, most of the Austin minis gave the impression they were crabbing down the road, which was mainly the toe and the camber of the rear wheels in relation to the front wheels gave a kind of optical illusion. However, there were many minis that were crabbing down the road. Anything from broken subframe mountings to worn out radius arm bearings and even bent subframes. Minis were amplified examples of what cars can look like when they don't go down the road in a straight line. The point I'm trying to make here, if your subframe ain't lined up, chances are your Mondeo's not driving down the road in a straight line. Mondeo's from the Mark 1 to the Mark 5 have front and rear subframes. They need to be aligned. So if you've got steering issues or alignment issues on your Mondeo, it might just be worth getting that looked into. In fact, if I go back to the Mark 1 Ford Mondeo, there was a special bulletin that came out from Ford. I'm pretty sure there was, but don't quote me on it. It was about the subframes not being aligned up right and the cars were either pulling to the left or to the right or one way or the other. So I rushed out and bought the subframe alignment tools because we had a load of Mark 1 Mondeos back then. Anyway, don't want to worry you too much, but just take into consideration a small amount of misalignment on these front subframes is obviously going to give you an amplified amount of misalignment when it gets to the wheel, especially if your subframe's been removed. You need to make sure it's put back on, aligned up properly, and then have your car tracked anyway, just to be on the safe side. Because let's face it, we do want our cars to drive in a straight line, don't we? I mean, actually, when you think about it, the front subframes on the Mondeos, they don't really get taken off that often. Maybe you've had a clutch fitted in an accident. But the thing is, how many people take the subframe off their Mondeo put it back on and just bolt it back up and don't even know they've got to be lined up. This particular Mark IV Mondeo was hit here on this bottom corner of this A-pillar and behind this wing the A-pillar was actually pushed back and the sill was pushed up and it also pushed the subframe back. And just giving you an example of how hard this Mondeo was hit, this is the passenger front door and it was like this on the sill as well. Anyway, here we are underneath our Mark IV Ford Mondeo. You are going to have four 21 mil bolts, one on each corner of your subframe that you'll need to loosen. And I can tell you for now, unless your wife or best mate is a gorilla, you're gonna need a pretty big strong bar to undo them bolts. In some cases, you might even need a scaffold pole. And once you've loosened off your 21 mil bolt, there's a further two 13 mil bolts that will need to be loosened. The front 21 mil bolts will be up here on the front of the subframe. You'll probably have to take this lower radiator tray out the way. So these are basically your subframe alignment tools. One either side at the back of your subframe will slot through the frame and into the chassis. And you'll wriggle these about and get the subframe level. And when they're facing straight down, this plate will slot in there and stop the tool from falling out of the subframe. Then you can tighten your bolts up and your frame is aligned. You don't really actually need to have them alignment tools to line these subframes up. You could if you wanted to, if you had the time. Whittle down a broom handle to make it fit. Hell, even trying to do it by eye would be better than nothing. So here on our car, right next to our 21mm bolt that's so bloody hard to undo, we'll get our tool and that'll go straight through there through the subframe and into the chassis. This plate will just stop the tool from falling out. And as all our subframe bolts are loose, we can jiggle the subframe about, and once they are a nice sliding fit through the subframe and chassis, we can then tighten the bolts up. And one of these alignment pins will go either side at the rear of the frame. If these pins aren't fitted in here properly, you could have this frame sitting too far forward 
and the other side of the frame sitting too far back. That means one of your wheels is going to be more forward than the other side. The rear subframe on these Mark IV Mondeos, they have holes for alignment as well. Although it's pretty doubtful you'd have to ever touch the back ones because I've never had to take a frame off one of these for any reason I can think of. So now I've fed you all with a useless piece of information. I expect you to all go out there and check your subframes aligned. Anyway, that's it. Enough crap for one day. Till the next time. See ya.